Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your reading. This is for Aquarius placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Be sure to flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on, okay? So Aquarius placements, what do uh, what do they need to know right now? Ooh. So we have sad news, what? Disappointing message, not what you wanted to hear, something not going in your favor, inconvenient truth. Okay, what else? So somebody could be coming to you with some sad news, Aquarius. Somebody could be coming in to be the bearer of bad news. Or this is you bringing this to somebody. Or somebody could just be getting told what they don't want to hear. What else? We got potential. New business requiring hard work. Ideas have potential for growth. Your investment paying off. A stable business steadily growing. So was that sad news for somebody? That's disappointing? Uh, toxicity yeah poor health snake toxic situations and people it's time to purge having a toxic mindset dead-end relationships okay what's the what's going on teamwork a partnership to complete a goal someone will come to your aid expanding your network delegating tasks and we have key Opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden, finding solutions, access to previously access to previously closed doors, serendipity, divine intervention, perfect timing, happy surprises, a fortune, a fortunate stroke of luck. Mm. Okay, what's the sad news? That's what's throwing me off. Like, why is that sad news? What's the sad news for the Aquarius placement? What's sad news? That may have nothing to do. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be somebody here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini energy, June Gemini, June Cancer. I don't Somebody here is emotionally manipulative. Oh, yeah, somebody here could be wanting to communicate something to you, say something to you. Somebody could be trying to affect your emotions. They want you to, okay, you need to, somebody could be trying to make you feel sad or they could be trying to tell you something that to fuck with your feelings. Who's the sad, what's the sad news? Yeah, two swords here. You need somebody who could be really two-faced or they're not really telling you. You need to listen to your intuition when this person comes to you with some type of news. Moon and Libra here with the two of swords. Somebody could be in their feelings. Somebody could be having a hard time making a decision because they're in their feelings. What's this uh, Queen of Cups in reverse? Who's that? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody don't even, they not even paying attention. Somebody could be crying or, or mad or this could even be emotion manipulation. Be careful. It's something with this Two of Swords here. It's something that you don't see. Somebody could be, this could be, that, that could be fake ass tears. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You need to take your time looking at something or hearing what somebody got to say. Saturn and Taurus here. Somebody could be just feeling frustrated. They could just be in a bad mood and they coming to you saying something. And, next, and you know, this person, it, trying to, what's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, Five of Wands. Somebody could be trying to cause conflict and drama or somebody's just being dramatic. Now, if this is you, Aquarius, this could be you guys feeling really frustrated. Maybe you didn't hear something that you wanted to hear, so you don't know what to do. You could be having, you could be caught between a rock and a hard place. You could be caught in the middle of something or somebody's trying to put you in the middle of something that ain't got shit to do with you. Causing you to be distracted. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Wands. This is other people's drama. Saturn and Leo here. Uh-uh. Five of Wands. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Ruggo, Capricorn, April, Aries, or April, Taurus, man or woman. Somebody here could just be feeling really, somebody could be trying to bring trouble your way. I don't know, yeah, Six of Swords in reverse and then Five of Swords here. Somebody's trying to cause up trouble, get you distracted or throw you off or do something. Somebody's trying to bring trouble your way or maybe it's trouble heading somebody's way. Oh, y'all need to be careful with the, what, what's this King of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the heavy Taurus here. So somebody here can have Taurus in a chart.
This could be from an institution. Somebody here could be getting locked up. That could be that too. Somebody, yeah, somebody could be going away for a long time. Seven years for some of you or more. Somebody made a bad investment. Somebody could have gambled their money or something could be going on with somebody's finances. Somebody could be sick, okay? I just got something about a coma. Ooh, hopefully nobody's in a coma. Hair font in reverse, heavy Taurus here. What's this hair font in reverse? Yeah, six of swords in reverse. Somebody could be getting locked up for scamming. Mercury and Aquarius here. Or somebody here could be, um, this could be a natural disaster that's happening with somebody. Some, something is, is fucking, somebody's, either somebody made a bad investment and it's, they losing a lot of money. They stuck, somebody could be stuck and stranded somewhere. Somebody, they, maybe somebody's stuck at work and they need you to go do something or help them with something or this could be you. But I feel like somebody's coming to call you or text you or hit you up. They're crying and they, they it's, it's really, something is really chaotic or somebody's trying to come to you with some type of news, something that you don't want to hear, something that could be a bit of an inconvenience to you. They could be trying to dramatize it when they don't have to even really do all of that. Or somebody's just trying to get you in your feelings. Yeah, what's the Six of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the hangman. Somebody here could be getting locked up, detained, or they getting st somebody stuck or hung up at work or stuck somewhere. Pisces energy. You or somebody could be, you or somebody can have Pisces or Virgo in their chart. Somebody here could be getting locked up or caught. So you could be hearing about this, hearing about something happening to somebody. Somebody is stuck and hung up somewhere, or they're stranded, or somebody is stuck. Six of Swords in reverse is a lack of forward movement. Somebody in the hangman, somebody's caught up. Somebody is tied up. Or either somebody's going to jail, they're in jail, they're being detained in prison, or they're stuck. Somebody here is stuck somewhere. Somebody could be getting some really sad. Somebody here could be suicidal. Somebody could be like, oh, you know, I don't know. I feel like somebody here is like, it's something is a lot. Woof. Two of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Somebody's coming to you with some type of communication. And I, I don't know if they're trying to stir up drama or stir up some feelings within you. Mercury and Sag here with this Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, Four of Pentacles. This person, they're coming to you with some sad news or, or truth that or something that you don't want to hear or, or they think that you don't want to hear. But they're not telling you everything. They're not yet. Yeah, the fool here and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This person kind of just wants you to take a leap of faith or they just want you to kind of do something reckless without thinking or looking at something they want you to do something that may end up getting you caught up it's like they want you to be the muscle they want they want you to they telling you something it's like well why don't you go handle that why you need why why i gotta do it it's your it's not even it's not even it's not even your it's not even your problem somebody wants you to do i don't know what this person is trying to do but the ace of swords in reverse is a lack of clarity somebody's not they want you to just go along with something take this risk go off the walk off this cliff without you having all the facts somebody's withholding something from you you need to do your research or you need to go within here and look at something get the facts four of pentacles capricorn sun energy four of pentacles yeah two of pentacles jupiter and capricorn Something's going on with somebody's money. I don't know if somebody here needs you to bail them out or they're going to come in. Yeah, somebody is worried. Nine of, Sword, Nine of Swords here, Mars and Gemini. They could even to borrow money. And maybe you're going to touch. I don't know. You're like, damn. Somebody here could be living paycheck to paycheck. They're penny pinching. They're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Somebody's money is fluctuating. Two of Pentacles. This could be hospital fees, legal fees, something. The Nine of Wands in reverse. November Sag, November Scorpio energy. Somebody could have, I hope, I hope nobody got into no accident. Nine of Wands here in reverse. The devil, Cap, heavy Capricorn here. You or somebody got Capricorn in a chart. This person can have addictions. They coming to you with some bullshit about us. They, somebody's coming to you with a sob story. But is there, they're not revealing everything to you. They're still keeping some things close to their chest. The sun in reverse. You need to pay really close attention to what somebody is saying because the devil's in the details. I told this to Libra and, 
in one of Libra's readings. You could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody got a Libra in their chart. The devil's in the details. And somebody here could have did something in haste or they were really impatient and now they caught up somewhere and stopped. What's this hangman? Yeah, two of wands in reverse. Somebody made a really poor decision. Mars and Aries, or they didn't, somebody didn't plan for something properly. Now they're stranded, they're stuck, detained. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the police, the, the cop cars. The devil. Somebody feels, somebody's feeling restricted. This could be a father figure. This could be a coworker, a boss, a manager, somebody in your family, a friend, whoever. It's, and this could be disappointing and sad to hear this about this person, but the show must go on. The devil. I don't know. Yeah, page of pentacles. Yeah, if somebody is planning, uh, yeah, I would be really careful here. Somebody could be coming in. This nine of wands in reverse. If somebody, if somebody is all over the place, Aquarius. You're going to have to set really firm boundaries with this person. This person could be having issues with addictions. They could be asking you for some money, but it's really for an addiction that they have. Somebody could be a police officer or somebody you can need to, you may have to get a restraining order or you may have to get the cops called because somebody could be coming to you with their emotions not intact somebody is un not intact they could be unraveling they be they could they could be becoming unhinged somebody doesn't somebody something is not going somebody's way they somebody they don't have nothing to lose somebody don't have nothing to lose and, and when people don't have nothing to lose they will hurt and do anything to anybody somebody got a really bad temper they hot-headed they're really impatient but i don't you know they somebody could be feeling really restricted really bound or they want this news to come to you to make you feel this way. Really sad, emotionally, all over the place, restricted. Feel like you don't got no options. But there's good news. I mean, what's this page of pentacles? That could be that that could be a plan. Page of pentacles. Yeah, nine of cups. Jupiter and Pisces. Somebody's doing something for so gratifying reasons. And you need to be careful. You could be seeing two, two, two. You need to be, you need to be, you need to reconsider what somebody is coming to you with, what information they're coming to you with, because I don't, what's this two of wands in reverse? Yeah, page of wands. It got something to do with a child. Two kids here. Somebody could play a musical instrument. Somebody's trying to get away with something. Somebody's it, these are this could be a couple that's planning this against you or two people. It's somebody that could be trying to attack you, harm you. Somebody here is holding a grudge, or somebody is stuck somewhere. Eight of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody is jealous and envious. What's this page of wands about? Yeah, six of pentacles. Somebody here needs help. And they could be going through something legally. They could have did something illegal or they did something. They're not taking accountability for something. This person has a way of making everybody's, their problem, everybody else's responsibility. They don't take accountability for anything, whoever this is. Moon and Taurus with the six of pentacles. So somebody could be hitting you up or writing you something or... They could need your help or they or they want they this could be even an act of service that they a favor that they need from you or, or I don't know. Nine of Cups. Be careful. Because it's gonna if you give this person something, some y'all don't even really have it to give. If you give this person something, it's gonna leave you in the four of pentacles, two of pentacles, page of pentacles, it's gonna leave you in a deficit. Nine of cups. The, yeah, six of cups. For some of y'all, this is a grown adult child of yours that got themselves in trouble. Scorpio, sun energy. You could be seeing 666. Gemini got that. You or somebody can have Gemini in your chart. And something is just very disappointing. Somebody's really depressed. Somebody can't figure their way out of something. Somebody can't figure their way out of something that they got themselves into. So somebody could be wanting to say something to you, wanting to kind of catch up and whatever this could be your friend they can be coming to you with bad news about what's going on in their life but i don't this person can have addictions that they're not really telling you they're not being honest with you about something what's potential new business requiring hard work ideas have potential for growth your investment paying off a stable business steadily growing seven of pentacles in reverse that's somebody 
not investing into something. I don't I feel you need to be really careful. What's potential here? Be careful who you're helping or who you're who you're accepting help from. What's potential? Yeah, the king of cups. Somebody could be trying to plan your emotions. Because somebody here is emotion manipulative. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, October, Libra, October, Scorpio. What's potential? Some y'all, somebody, some y'all could be counselors. You could be really gifted in some kind of way. You could be very intuitive, very creative. What's potential? Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not learning from their past mistakes. Mars and Capricorn. Somebody is not working as a team. This could be a father figure. You, some y'all can't even co-parent with this person properly. I don't know. Or you can't. This is a co-worker, a, a, a manager, a supervisor, a teacher. You can't really get on the same page. Or you can't. There's, there's no team effort here. There's a lack of uh, teamwork. King of Cups. Somebody here could also be not getting help for an addiction or a problem that they have. King of Cups. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody's trying to play on somebody's emotions. This could be somebody in your neighborhood, your environment, your family, a friend, whoever. Five of swords. What's this five of swords about? Somebody's up to something. Yeah, ace of wands. I don't know if this person is trying to, what, have be intimate with you or... They could be trying to plan, they could be trying to come to you with a sob story to plan your emotions. What's this ace of wands? Yeah, queen of swords, you see right through something, period. Some of y'all could have water and air in your chart, but y'all see right through something or someone. Queen of, some of y'all could need to get a lawyer or this person needs to do that. Some of you guys are getting good news about something, about something financial. This person could know that. Some of y'all are coming into some big money. And this person, they 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 know, they know something. Somebody knows you're coming into something and they want parts. But they're not gonna be your team player. They, they, they wasn't with you shooting in the gym. But they want, but they want you to give them something. They hoping that because y'all got history or because y'all grew up together, or because y'all family, because they're your child, or because y'all got kids, or because they're your parent, or because they're your friend, because they whoever, your neighbor or whatever, that they should they should have some type, they should they should get a piece of the pie. They wasn't they didn't and this person, these are this could be a personal people that didn't even help you when you was they didn't they didn't invest they didn't invest in you. They didn't and they gave you a sob story when you needed help or when you needed somebody to even just promote or share your stuff on their story or online or send business or clients their way. They didn't even do that for you. They didn't even connect you with new friends, new people. Hey, so and so, this is so and so. Follow each other on or or connect. Well, they didn't even they didn't even bother to do that, but now they want something from you. It wasn't what you shooting in the gym. You coming into big money. Y'all need to have an eyebrow raised. Queen of Swords here. Yeah, nine of wands. You've been through a lot. A lot of y'all are pouring back into yourselves. And for a lot of you guys, you helping this person, you getting back with somebody or listening to they listening to their sob story. And if you decide to extend a helping hand is going to lead you in this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Star in reverse, Ten of Swords, Ace of Cups in reverse, and Seven of Wands. Feeling burnt out, on guard, repressed, oppressed, burdened, betrayed, drained, depleted, financially, emotionally, energetically, your health, something. This could even be a couple that's trying to do this to you. The King of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles upright, or some y'all could be married to this person, or some y'all can have a business together for some of you. Somebody could have gambled up all the damn money. What's this nine of wands moon? Or somebody's bad was they're bad with money. Nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, four of wands. Venus and Aries. I need to pour into yourself. Yeah, somebody is worried. Four of Wands. What's the Four of Wands? Ten of Swords here. Yeah. 
it's some type of betrayal in a community or a work. This could be a work environment, family, friends, ten of swords, Gemini, sun energy, some type of betrayal. If this is like a teamwork, you're supposed to be collaborating with a, a person or a group. Somebody's trying to take credit for your work. Somebody's trying to copy. Somebody's trying to take credit for what you do. They're trying to steal your... They're trying to do something. They're trying to copy. Somebody here is getting paid off of... And you could be finding this out. Somebody here is getting paid off for like stealing your work, your ideas, your stuff. Whatever you do. That's crazy. That's not, And you put a lot of hard work into something. They didn't invest. They didn't put the time, the money, the energy into it. And they're getting paid for it. Or they're getting the raise or promotion. They're getting, they're getting the benefits of it. When they didn't when they didn't invest, that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. Absolutely not. Ten of Swords. Hey, that could be what the betrayal is. Three of Pentacles in reverse. That's crazy. Yeah, this could be a big family secret. Something that somebody's been trying to hide for a long time. Ten of Cups in reverse. Y'all could be seeing ten, ten, ten of ten of swords, ten of cups, Mars and Pisces here. This could be a hostility out of workplace. Yeah, some of y'all could be like, you know, is is some of y'all could be this could be at a job. For some of you guys, this could be something to do with like family court with the ton of cups in reverse like that. Um again, some of y'all, this is about kids. For those of you who have kids, not everybody has kids, but for those of you who have kids, real quick, you could be you can't co-parent with this person. And this person betrayed you. Somebody in your family or somebody that you have kids with or somebody that's close to you betrayed you in some kind of way. And there, there's an investment. Somebody could have got paid to do something. Or they're getting paid to do something. That's crazy. And it got something to do with kids too. People crazy. Ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, the will of fortune. What's this? What's the will of fortune? Yeah, the hermit, Vir Virgo energy. You or someone can have Virgo in their chart. The Wheel of Fortune is Sag, Pisces. You can have Sag or Pisces somewhere. Somebody's not, I don't know if you're telling somebody no, or you you're the one that's telling somebody not what they want to hear, and they getting... They feel a way about that or something. Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, the, somebody here is, yeah, something is not fair. No, something's not fair. Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody is jealous. Somebody here, they ain't even apologized to you for some shit that they did to you, but they could be trying to come back and be fake, knowing that what they did behind your back because what, they want to work with you. They want to, they, they want to, they want to jump on the band. Somebody's a cloud chaser. And a social climber. Somebody didn't help you. This could, this could be somebody that you got kids with. And this person that never helped you. They hardly helped you with shit with your kids. And they and they need your help with something because they got caught up. Bitch, go ask go ask that other chick or other man or, or the motherfucker for help. Go ask the people that you did help and that you somebody shitted on you and now they want your help. That's crazy to me. Somebody could be returning. Coming to you with all their baggage and drama and all types of stuff, or trying to, or somebody here. To, and for some of y'all, y'all don't got, y'all don't have kids. This is not somebody that you got kids with. Somebody, this could even be a friend, a family member, a grown child of yours, or not. This could even be like a friend of the family, whatever. Somebody here is trying to drag you into some chaos and bullshit. But the ten of wands in reverse. Somebody, you can't delegate tasks. The three of you're not getting the help that you need for some type of business or something here. But people want credit for it. Or somebody here didn't put in the blood, sweat, and tears, and they're trying to copy what you do or they want to be like. That's not um. What they say, imitation is not the sincerest form of flattery at all. Hermit. Yeah, the death in reverse.
And I don't think it's flattering because I feel like somebody's flat out trying to copy somebody. Somebody is trying to get credit for somebody else's hard work. This could even be the parent of your child that's trying to take credit for why your child is the way he or she is and they barely helped you with shit. Somebody could be trying to take your ideas. So you need to be careful who you're sharing your ideas with. Somebody here could be really creative. Somebody here, some of y'all could mix things. Some of y'all could be studying something. Okay, somebody here could be a chemist or there could be something that, you see how somebody here could be into pottery. But some of y'all could do something with skincare. Also something with plants. Something that's very artistic. Something that you, I feel like somebody trying to take credit for your work. This could be somebody that you that's close to you, somebody at a distance, or somebody that you know. Y'all leaving some somebody feels like you leaving them behind, but they don't want to change. Uh, what what's the death card in reverse? Yeah, the moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy. Somebody really in their feelings. The moon in reverse. Yeah, the five of cups. Somebody's in regret. They're sad. depressed somebody's what sad because you're something is growing for you steadily that's crazy somebody couldn't they couldn't what affect something in your life that's insane five of cups mars and scorpio yeah the judgment something about your purpose your path your calling So this is somebody that you you know this person, whoever this is, that's coming to you with this sad news or that's trying to, or you giving them sad news by telling them no. I feel like this person is trying to intercept something. It could be with your money, your business, or just your, you feeling, you feeling self-assured, sufficient, whatever. Somebody could want your forgiveness. Something is growing for you now. They seen that, oh shit, Aquarius is about to come up on the bag. Their, their, their things are growing. Let me come in and at the last minute. Ten of Swords here. The strength in reverse. Absolutely not. This person, these, these, this person or people will betray you all over again. They didn't see your potential then. Why now? Every, now people want a second chance. Now they want to work with you. They, these could be people that 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 didn't. They didn't think your product. They didn't think your book. They didn't think your music. They didn't think your your look. If you're a model, they didn't think your love. If if, if it was about love, they didn't think you were good enough. Now that something is taken off for you, for you, that maybe somebody else is seeing your. Maybe you could have been overlooked in some kind of way. Now people are like, oh my God, Aquarius. What well, you know that Tyler song? Truth or Dare, and she's an Aquarius too. Hey, Tyler, girl, if you're watching. She's an Aquarius, too. It's basically, the song is basically about, uh, you. she's like, you used to treat me just like anyone, and now you're seeing the love from everywhere. Now you want to be, let me, hold on. It's like now the person, like maybe it was her ex or it could be anybody, but now it's like, oh, now you care that you see I'm blowing up and now you want to be on me. Like now you're on my body. Now you want to, no, doors are opening up for you, keys. Opening opening doors to a better future, access to what was hidden, finding solutions, access to previously closed doors. Yeah, shit wasn't hidden for you. You could have been getting sad news after sad news, disappointment after disappointment, being told no, being rejected, being not qualified or not feeling that, not feeling qualified. This could be, some of y'all could be mute. You could be musicians with the with the page of wands. He got a guitar in his hand. You could be really gifted. Y'all could be really artistic. And now people see that something is paying off for you. So people thought that you was just wasting your time. You wasn't going to make nothing out of yourself from doing something. Now that something is taken off. Everybody wants to come back like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're like, oh. But it's really because they need help. They want something from you. They could be going through stuff now. No. Strength card. You can have Leo in your chart somewhere. Absolutely not. Do what you want, but no. No. You could be seeing 555. A Libra got 555. Gemini got 666 as well. Mm -mm. Teamwork, a partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network and delegating tasks. What's teamwork? 
some of y'all could need to delegate tasks. You could need to get a whole new team of people or a whole new business partner, a whole new something. What's teamwork? Y'all going to have to leave some people behind. Everybody can't. Everybody can't come. Like I was telling Libra, six of wands in reverse. Everybody cannot fucking come. Jupiter and Libra, everybody's not going to, Jupiter and Leo, my bad. Everybody's not going to be happy for you. You could be, oh, I said 666. Everybody's not going to be happy about this. Jealousy, envy, page of cups in reverse, envy, jealousy. People feel stuck in their lives. Things are turning for you. You're in your purpose. You're in your north node. People are, uh, this personal people are just codependent. Or they, thought that you, they, they thought you were going to be codependent and down forever. And, that, and because you're not, it's sad news to people. Ain't that something? Ain't that fucked up? Ain't that something? Y'all could have been the underdogs for a long time. The underdog always comes out on top. I love rooting for the underdog. I love rooting for the underdog. I'm always rooting for the underdogs because they always come out on top. Y'all were overlooked a lot when it came to your work. Y'all could be actors, actresses. You could be in the spotlight. You can do music. You could be a. You could do something in beauty. You could do. You could be a fat. You could be a fashion stylist. You could be a a, a singer, rapper, whatever you do. People, over, a, a journalist, an author, a, 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 you could be into art. You could fucking be put. I don't. You could have been the next Picasso. I don't know. But people overlooked you. You were overlooked. People didn't really see your gift. And at one point in time, you almost gave up on yourself. What's teamwork? Yeah, the, yeah, you felt like people thought you were going to be, they expected you to fail, Aquarius. Ain't that something? People expected you to fail. They expected you to fail. And at one point in time, maybe you, you were like, man, is this a waste of time? Is it worth it? It is. Now is not the time to give up. You too close. Somebody could be from um, Cali or could be visiting Cali. Somebody could be from Slauson. Is that what that place is called? Yeah, people thought you could have had addictions. You could have had all types of shit. People thought that... People thought that you, people thought that because things weren't going in your favor, you was just not going to, you were going to give up on something. This could even be a childhood dream or a childhood wish you had to, to do something. The world in reverse, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, energy. This could be another Aquarius you're dealing with, or you can have other Aquarius placements, or you could be a different sign watching for your Aquarius placements. You can have different fixed signs in your chart too. Some of y'all have seen all over the world, global. People could have been trying to work together to fuck with your subscribers if you have, your views, your traction, your um your 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 um your clientele, you selling things or being seen. Six of they six of wands in reverse. Yeah, justice in reverse. Y'all were unfairly. Some of y'all were unfairly. Your name is also being cleared in something. You could have been unfairly uh, targeted or just mistreated or overlooked. Justice in reverse. Libra energy. These are people that don't want to take accountability for them not, but they don't want to say, you know what? Because I would have more respect for somebody saying, you know what, Teresa? I honestly didn't really believe in you. I didn't really think this was gonna your thing was gonna take off, but you stuck with it. I didn't really believe in it because if it was me, I would have just gave up. But you, you know, you stuck with it. You kept going, and wow, I'm really proud of you. They want, they don't want to give you your flowers, six of wands in reverse, but they want to be a part of your success. And I did a reading for y'all months ago. Go to your playlist and go watch that reading. But and and this is the title, or it's, it's uh, just go go. You know, every, every sign has their playlist. It says. For Aquarius, this your title for the for that reading was by the time they give you your flowers, you would have already given them to yourself. You've already given yourself your flowers. So now everybody wants to come and give you your flowers, or they thought by not giving you your flowers, by not supporting you, you wasn't gonna make it or go nowhere. But God, Allah, the universe, whoever you subscribe to had other motherfucking plans for you. You didn't see what well, people didn't realize is you wasn't you wasn't banking or depending on their support. They thought that because that's how they think. If they didn't have support, the way they didn't support you, they would have gave up. If their stuff took off as slowly as yours did or as slowly as it is, they would have given up already. 
they would have given up. So they expected, they thought they, 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 they misjudged you. Maybe you had a rough start in life. Maybe you, you know, you could have come from tough neighborhoods or, or rough beginnings, or you didn't always have, or you grew up a certain way. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's crazy. Justice in reverse, Libra energy, a lack of accountability. A lot of people don't want to take accountability for something, but they, they want your forgiveness or they want you to, what, they come to you with sob stories now. Justice in reverse. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all could have been um, illegally targeted at work, discrimination. Or somebody here was trying to harm you, but y'all could have been bullied growing up. Tease, or this is somebody else. The bully has now become the bully. Or the bully is now being bullied. Yeah. Now somebody what? They yeah, no. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here now they miss you. They want y'all to come together. They wanna uh 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 and it, it it's like no. No. Mm -mm. Y'all do what y'all want, but it's going to be a dead-end situation. Whether collaborating with this person or people with regards to work, a business, or romantically. It's a, mm. uh, Knight of Swords in Reverse. Taurus, Gemini, Energy, May Taurus, May Gemini. What's the Knight of Swords in Reverse? Yeah, Eight of Swords in Reverse. Somebody also thinks they're a know-it-all. Somebody's unteachable. You can't teach this person nothing. They think they know everything. Yeah, you could have felt like something was... Some of y'all could have been scared to apply to something because you could have felt like it was out of your league or this could be a, a position. This could be for a raise. It could be for a new role. It could be for whatever. And a lot of y'all are... You're con I don't know if you're confused or, you're, or you think you're not qualified. Eight of Swords in reverse. You need to apply anyway. And I know that's hard. You could be saying eight, eight, eight. I know that's hard to do when you've been turned down, when you've been, this could be for home, a loan, a car. It could be for whatever, a relationship. It could be for, it could be for whatever. Um, I know that could be hard to do when you've been getting the door slammed in your face for so long, especially when this is in regards to like your craft, right? If, when you're, when, if you're an artist, which I feel all entrepreneurs, even if you're working for fucking finance or or on every, every anybody that's an entrepreneur is an artist, and artists are sensitive about their shit. So when you're constantly being rejected, whatever you do for work, right? You're constantly being rejected, turned down, turned away, overlooked. Your stuff is not being viewed as much, or your stuff is not being bought as much. And you know you're just as good, just as qualified, if not better than others. That could be really frustrating. Trust me, that could be extremely frustrating, and it can cause you to feel discouraged. But then you let the enemy win. And then that's not what you, you don't, don't do that. You have to keep going because the king of wands, ace of pentacles, the chariot, you got to keep going. You got to don't, don't sit in the cold, work your way out of it, fight your way out of it, fight your way out of it. Because then you're going to, you're going to be the empress, whether you're a man or woman, the empress is about growth and expansion. You gonna get you gonna get what's 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 rightfully yours. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, who got eight eight eight? Libra got eight eight eight. So you or somebody can have Libra on their chart. There could be a, somebody could be at a dead end situation, or this could be y'all working up over overtime trying to prove yourselves, and you're not really getting something. Just some y'all could be um, not getting. This could be um, back pay for something or. Um, you're owed some type of money. You've worked. Somebody here could, wasn't you. Some y'all wasn't getting paid for your hours, or somebody could have been miscalculating your hours and your checks and shit like that coming up short. You don't got time for that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody was trying. Somebody trying to get away. Somebody here is lazy. They have no work ethic, and they want to get. They somebody here is trying to get put on. Somebody's a clout chaser. Somebody's trying to get put on through your name. They're trying to use you for clout. Moon and Aquarius here? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely the fuck not. Somebody's trying to get... Somebody doesn't want to do no work. They want to take a shortcut. Oh, let's work together as a team. Let's do this together. But you're going to be the one doing all the work and they're going to be getting the credit for it. This could even be with the manager. You, you sitting there doing basically managerial work or supervisor work and that person don't do shit. 
You need to be getting paid their salary or their pay. Uh-uh. Or this could be something, a relationship or whatever. Anyways, I just feel like somebody's not pulling any weight. What's the world in reverse? Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Somebody could fit. Somebody's afraid of failing. Or this could be, you could have been afraid of failure. You could have been afraid. You could have felt unskilled, unqualified, like I said. You could have felt like something or someone was out of your league. Or this could have been how somebody else felt. So you felt like, why bother even putting in the effort and the work to do it? I'm not going to succeed at it anyway. But you need to keep going. Temperance, you need to be patient. Keep the divine timing. Don't, don't look at the superficial aspect of something. Look at, go back to finding your why. Why did you start this thing in the first place? Why did you? What, why did you? Why does? Why did this become your passion in the first place? What was your? What? what what's your? What, what was your goal in the first place? Somebody here could be a doula, a midwife. With that, that empress made me think of that. My doula, Jessica. She's an Aquarius. Um, she's a doula. She was my doula when I was pregnant with Nova. And Nova's an Nova's an Aquarius, sun and moon. She's a, and she has an Aquarius tenth house. That girl is. And she's a master, she's a master number. Her life path number is 11, which is Aquarius's. That's an Aquarius um, vibrational number. Nova is an Aquarius through and through. I have a North Node in Aquarius. But, um, yeah, but, mm -hmm. Nine of Swords, Mars, and Gemini. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Y'all could be seeing nine, 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 nine of wands. Libra guy, y'all, something about Libra season could be significant for y'all. Or you need to check where you have Libra in your chart. Check where you have Libra in your chart and Libra rules the seventh house. Check what you have in your seventh house as well. What sign or planet? If there's no planets, check the sign. Nine of swords here. Somebody, or, and for some of you guys, y'all could be worried about failure. Maybe you don't have the support that you need or want. Or people that you thought were going to be supporting you, thought that they were going to be on the same page and be just as on something. They're not, but that's okay. Some of y'all could be scared to go something, go go to ask something alone. You don't have to be. Or maybe, yeah. And then for others of you, you could be, and you know, and let's, and let's look at the other spectrum, right? For some of you guys, you could have been so used to working alone, doing things by yourself. You could be afraid of community. Community could feel a bit foreign to you. Working with others who have the same cause, because you Aquarius, you guys do rule a uh, collective, like you you rule humanity, you rule friends, you rule groups, you rule social media, you rule the internet. You guys, so you you know y'all are you're not really. I don't want to say you're not meant to do things alone, but you rep you are the y'all are y'all are community. So. Don't be afraid to have your community. You don't feel like you got it. You don't have to do everything alone. For those of you who have not found the right, um, the right community, the right teamwork, go at it alone. But also, don't be afraid to cast that net and make yourself available. Make yourself seen. Some of you guys have to make you're not. You just haven't made yourself seen by the right people or the right person. Whether it's love, business, career, friends, community, whatever it is. You just have to be seen so you can get the right opportunity. So you can push the fuck forward and go on up and take your leap of faith. Okay? Some of y'all just haven't been seen. Some of you guys, you're hiding yourselves. You, you know, you don't want to put yourselves out there because you don't want to fail. Or maybe you failed a million times, then fail a trillion times then. Give yourself, give yourself some space and give yourself some breathing room to keep going. Okay? Give yourself something, you know. What's the nine of swords here? Yeah, three of swords. Y'all could be overthinking something. This could be about failure. A lot of y'all need to pour back into... A lot of y'all can need to pour into yourselves. Or find your why. Like I said, find your why again. Your reason. What's the three of swords set in the Libra? Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, some of you have two of cups, three of cups. Some of y'all could be trying to, y'all could be struggling with finding the right community, finding the right friends, finding the right business partners, finding the right people to manage you. You could be looking for the right uh, manager or the right whatever it is. Again, don't close yourself off. Okay? Somebody could want to reconcile with you. They could miss you. But just make sure people's, yeah, you can, you and this person can miss each other. But just make sure people's intentions, because everybody don't really, y'all have to, you know, set your boundaries. Don't know where your stand is for nobody. Two of Cups. 
Y'all could be seeing two, two, two. Oh, I said that already. <laughs> so something about partnerships, choices. Go see where you have Libra in your chart and see what is in your seventh house too. Two of Cups. Yeah, star in reverse. Some of y'all feel hopeless about love, Aquarius energy. You could be feeling in despair. Y'all could be afraid of putting yourselves out there again when it comes to love. Because maybe it's something you could have felt embarrassed, humiliated. Okay, but, oh, this is about your work. But you gotta you gotta keep on you gotta keep on trying until you find until you find your person, until you find the right job, the right fit, the right company, the right management, the right contract, the right place, the right home, the right neighborhood, the right friends, the right whatever. You gotta keep going, the right dog. Some of y'all could, you know, you're looking for pets. Um, star in reverse. Yeah, love is in reverse. Gemini energy. Somebody could have made the wrong choice in love and something's hitting a dead end. And somebody could be trying to get out of that situation now. But maybe they got finances tied. Somebody could have went backwards. But I'll tell you one thing, something ain't working. With that eight of pentacles in reverse. Or somebody's not putting in the effort. The lovers in reverse. Some of you guys, you're trying to make things work with people. Or in environments that you're just not compatible in. And that's why you're in this despair. You're trying to force a square to fit into a circle. Lovers in reverse. Whether this is a relationship, business, work, whatever. Neighborhoods. Lovers in reverse. Yeah, king of wands in reverse. Somebody here is not a team player. They're not a good... Somebody's tyrannical. A bully. This person could micro. Somebody here could be micromanaging you. What's this lovers? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Cancer energy, July, Cancer, July, Leo. What's this uh, lovers in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Disappointment. Yeah, King of Swords. Three of Cups. Yeah, some of you and somebody could be missing each other. This could be a fellow air sign. Or somebody could be a January Capricorn, January Aquarius, Mercury and Cancer. Somebody needs to speak up and say something to you or this is you. Y'all can need to express something or get something off your chest. Turn your pain to power. Don't become a victim of it. Show other people how something is done. But Ace of Cups in Reverse can be disappointment, sadness, grief. Maybe you were hoping to expand on something with a person, love, business, whatever related. And so for some of you guys, you were hoping to work together as a team with somebody professionally and maybe somebody caught feelings or I don't, you know, somebody wanted, somebody could have, the, the lines got crossed and I feel like somebody wanted something that the other person maybe didn't want. And that could be why it's, it's just clashing. Something's not working together. Somebody could be like, oh, damn, Aquarius just wants to be friends. Or they just want to be, they just want to keep this professional. They Or they just, they don't want to cross that line. Or, you know, that could be sad for you or for somebody. Asa, somebody could have wanted more than just professional or more than just friends. Or more than just something. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, maybe somebody wanted something long term. Ten of Pentacles. Y'all could be seeing 10, 10, 10. The Empress Taurus Libra energy. You also might have Taurus or Libra in there. Try seven of swords. Yeah, the fool here. Somebody's trying to get it. It's time y'all to get out of that dead-end job, dead-end relationship, dead-end friendships, dead-end environments, and just it's time to leave. It's time to it's time for your it's your new beginnings are chasing you, but y'all are running faster. Y'all are out running them. So just make sure you're not sleeping on yourself. Make you know. Make sure you're not sleeping on yourself. It's time to get out of your comfort zone. It's, it's time to expand. It's time to grow. It's time to like leave some things in the past. It's time to leave some things behind you. Mercury and Virgo with the Ten of Pentacles. It's time to start over. Y'all got a big bag coming in. But you're going to have to over... There's going to be some things you're going to have to overcome when the, for this success to come in. It's not going to happen by y'all taking shortcuts, starting then stopping, not finishing things. You're going to have to keep going. 
Y'all gonna have to prove yourself to the universe or God or Allah, whoever you subscribe to. That's the only person or people or thing that you need to prove yourself to, which is yourself, technically. No, to nobody else, only yourself. There could have been a mob of people with bad intentions that could have been trying to throw you off. You're going to be in the first person in your family to break some type of generational curse surrounding like some of y'all are going to be the first millionaires in your family. Something has great potential. Let's get some law of attraction. Loving all of you. Love and accept your inner darkness for greatest self-love. Deeply healing world mirrors us. Yeah, there could be something that's mirroring really how you feel about yourself. You could be trying to escape the shadow aspect of yourself. You could be trying to deny it, but you need to embrace it so you can become who you're meant to become. Trying too hard. Force creates resistance. Let go. Watch it flow. Rest. Be lighthearted and burnt out. Some of y'all are burning yourselves out. You could be working too much. Um, what else? Heart, mind, union. Harmony of the heart. Joy and vision with mind, plan and action. Faster manifestation, highest vibration, period. So some of y'all can need to get your mind and heart on the same page. Write it down. The universe has received your order. Know and feel it's yours and done. Writing brings into physical form. Some of y'all can need to practice the 369 method or just write down your stuff. We got inspired action. Take action when feel desire. Follow intuition, synchronicity, supported by universe. Yeah, for some of you guys, the teamwork could just be you and your guides, you and the universe, your ancestors. They want to give you, yeah, it's manifested. Follow your bliss. They want to they, they wanna give you something, but you could be like running away from it or you could be trying to do it your way and that's your way is not working. Yeah, we have it's manifested. New desire reality is already present in your life. Vibrational alignment. Astrology gives edge. So astrology gives edge. Go, Libra's been coming out heavy in your readings. If you don't have Libra, go see where you have Libra in your chart. Go see where you have Venus in your chart. What house Venus is in. We all have 12 houses. That's why it's good to know what time you're born. See where you have Venus in your chart because Venus, or Libra rules. Um, Venus, and so is Taurus. So does Taurus. Um, but Taurus rules the second house. Libra rules the seventh. I'm I'm emphasizing Libra because Libra rules the seventh house, and the seventh house is about marriages, relationships, contracts, and even in business. And for a lot of y'all, it's about who you're collaborating with, the people that the type of people or the people that you're working with, right? See where you have Libra in your chart, what sign it's in, where Venus sits in your chart, what meaning what house it's in. Same thing with Libra. What house does Libra sit in your chart? And look at your seventh house, which is Libra's house. What planet and sign, what planets or signs are there? If there's no planets in your seventh house, look at what zodiac sign is there. And whatever planet that zodiac sign is ruled by, that's the energy you work with for that house. Okay? That's your homework. One more. Darkness before dawn. Break down before breakthrough. Major shift is in progress. Dissolving barriers ascending. Yeah, period. And we have respond versus react. Express from a loving place. Old trigger and trauma yields drama. New beneficial thought patterns. Yeah, we have flamingo. Enjoying friends, balancing chaos, dealing with your emotions, mastering your energy and vibration. So for some of you guys, that's this queen of cups in reverse could be you. Y'all could need to master something and how you respond and react to things. Cause certain y'all could be y'all can let things throw off your vibra your vibration and your energy and it delays your manifestations. And then y'all start getting frustrated. And then the universe is like, well, I want to give you something, but y'all got to get into this. What does it say? Y'all got to get into that alignment. It, you know, it's like, uh, well, I, you know, I want to give you this, but energetically, you're not aligned with you. You, you, just, you know, y'all got to know what you want and align, get your energy in alignment with that. Everything is vibrational. So, you know, so y'all could need to raise your vibration. Pretty much, a lot of y'all need to make need to make peace with your past as well. So don't let any sad or inconvenient news. Don't let you know not be. Don't let hearing something that you don't want to hear throw you off to where 
you just soaking all day, depressed, moody, you throwing away your, you know, you, you don't want to, you don't want to work on your stuff no more, or you don't want to, you know, you, you said fuck your hobby. Some of y'all about to get paid for something that is just a hobby, something that you just enjoy doing, something that's like fun for you. You're about to be getting banked for it. You could be starting something new, trying something new, or going back to something, or doing something that you've been doing, but doing it in a different way. Marketing yourself in a different way, marketing your brand in a different way, working with different types of, trying to maybe changing your audience, your target audience, changing who you work with, changing your team. But this is your reading, Aquarius. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.